This is Amaranta and Jennifer from ADCI 2210 coming to you live. Today we'll have a special guest by the name of Emma, Emma Willard. Willard. Emma is unavailable right now because she's in a bathroom break because she traveled all the way down from Connecticut. Oh, sorry about that. It was a long flight, guys. So, a little bit about myself. Um, I was born in February 23rd, and as previously mentioned, I am from Connecticut, Berlin, Connecticut. And my father was a, far was a farmer, and he was the one who encouraged me to read and continue to learn. And that was something that inspired me to become a teacher. I know this is only the basics, but to further a little bit on that, I am currently someone who is a vocal supporter of female education, and I have my own school in New York. Okay, so now we're going to leave the floor to the public. Guys, if you have any questions, go ahead and dial and call us um, to the number that is on the screen. The number is 956-205-2210. I repeat. The number is So we have our first color. Hello, what is your name? Oh my gosh, my name is Anaya. I'm so excited to finally talk to you. You inspire me so much. I'm currently on my way to become an educator just like you. I always wondered how I was like or how you felt when you first opened your school. <laughs> first of all, thank you so much. I am glad to know that I am someone's inspiration. And now to answer your question, I felt as honored to be the first to open a school to further the education of women. It is amazing that I could be of help to women, and it is simply indescribable. Okay, thank you for your question, Anae. So we still have more time for more questions. Okay, so we have our next color. Hello, what is your name? Hello, my name is Rosita. I just want to thank you for giving us the opportunity to ask you questions. I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit about the school you opened. That's actually a very interesting question. And well, a little bit about the school is that it allows young women to receive the education that they deserve. Although it is sad to know that many of these girls won't further their education because they uh, will become housewives or they, become, they come from families that actually have financial resources. Thank you for your question, Rosita. Emma, it is awesome to know that you made education available, an opportunity for women. Now, we have our next color. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Samantha, and I, I'm aware that you wrote pamphlets, but I want to know what made you write them in the first place. Thank you. Well, when it comes to the pamphlets, I first saw the success in my students while I taught them at home, which is how I first started. That could be reason number one. And since I proved that women could teach and that girls could learn, what others thought that only pertained to main things like science, 
I wanted to let people know of this, that women are capable of learning and teaching. How interesting to know that you started all of this in your house. Hello, welcome to EDCI 2210. What is your name and what is your question? Hi, I'm Andrea and I look up to you, but I know that it must not have been easy. What would you say was the most difficult part of your entire career? You're definitely correct when you say that it wasn't easy because it wasn't. But I will add that in the end, it was all well worth it. And the part that I would say was the most difficult could be um, in regards to the pamphlets that I previously mentioned. They weren't um, received well by some people, um, which did not have the best opinion about this, about the new school for women. But I thank those like Thomas Jefferson John Adams, and the New York governor, DeWitt Clinton, for only receiving my ideas and for allowing me, especially DeWitt Clinton, for allowing me to open the first school for women. I can only imagine what it must have been like to fight for the rights so that women could be educated. Okay, we have time for one more call. It's so nice to finally talk to you. I've been wanting to talk to you for such a long time. My name's Ashley, and my question is, what, looking at education now, what is your lasting, and what do you think your lasting impact is on education? Bye, thank you so much. I certainly <clears throat> do hope that I had some sort of impact on education, and the way I think uh, I might have impacted this is that Today, I see that girls and women can attend school like everyone in most places. Um, and I am very, very glad to see that. And even more so glad to know that I might have been the cause for the expansion of such campuses that, are, that would allow this. It was something that was necessary, and um, it is amazing to see it come true. I hope that it keeps up like this and even better in the future. Thank you so much, Emma, for making the time to be here with us and to our callers for contributing to this as well and for asking questions. We just want to say that we should appreciate the education that we now have because people such as Emma have worked hard in order for us to have it today. This is all for today. Until next time, this was EDCI 2210. Have a good one, everybody.